In this lesson, we examine the concept of equivalent impedance for steady state AC circuits with resistors, inductors, and capacitors. Let's begin our discussion of equivalent impedance by considering a circuit segment with one resistor, one inductor, and two capacitors arranged like this. Now, independent of the frequency, the impedance for the resistor is simply the resistance. The impedance for the inductor is the purely imaginary product of 2 times pi times the frequency times the value for the inductance, and the impedances for the capacitors are also purely imaginary with the value of negative 1 over 2 times pi times the frequency times the values for the capacitances. Using those impedances, we can replace each element with its complex valued impedance and then use the same rules we use for equivalent resistance. And that will result in this equation for the equivalent impedance between nodes A and B. To see this, we start with the resistor and the capacitor that are in series and combine them by summing their impedances. Then we combine those in parallel with the impedance for the inductor by using the same mathematical relationship we use for two resistors that are in parallel. Finally, we combine that equivalent impedance with the impedance for the other capacitor to make the equivalent impedance for the four elements. The result will be a complex valued quantity with a real part and an imaginary part. We call the real part the resistance, and we call the imaginary part the reactance. Now, if the reactance is positive, we can think of the equivalent circuit as a resistor in series with an inductor whose inductance is equal to the reactance divided by 2 times pi times the frequency. On the other hand, if the reactance is negative, we think of this as a resistor in series with a capacitor whose capacitance is equal to 1 over 2 times pi times the frequency times the absolute value for the reactance. And when we think of a circuit element and segments in terms of resistance and reactance, a resistor is, as expected, purely resistive, and inductors and capacitors are purely reactive.